Hi, my name is Giovanna Oaxaca, and I'm the Program Director for Migration Policy with the ELCA, based in Washington, DC. Today, deadly headlines acknowledge the continuing phenomenon of migration from around the world, but especially from our immediate neighbors in Central America and the Caribbean, from people fleeing extreme hardship. Migration has its roots in many systemic issues, including violence, poverty, and climate change. But we believe that due to our connection to companion churches in the region, including companion synod relationships and existing ministries in the U.S., the ELCA is well positioned to help ensure that these vulnerable people are protected and receive the welcome they deserve. Amparo is a holistic, whole church commitment by the ELCA. As a church in the world, to accompany children today into the future who are forced to flee their communities. I'm Mary Campbell, Program Director of Amparo. Adopted in 2016, ELCA Amparo has worked with companion churches and organizations in countries of origin in Central America and Mexico, in transit and in contention, as well as destination to accompany our neighbors wherever they may find themselves in a variety of ways for protection, advocacy, representation, and opportunities. Why? Because it is Jesus' command to love our neighbors, no exceptions. There are 92 verses in the Bible that talk about welcoming the stranger. The scripture said, love your neighbor as you love yourself. No conditions applied. So that's what changed in me, the way I look at strangers, the way I, we welcome strangers. I mean, I'm really happy that I'm a part of a church uh, which did this. How do we engage? Accompaniment is one very important way Internationally through Amparo, our companions in El Salvador, Honduras, and Guatemala provide reintegration support through technical training, entrepreneur development, and psychosocial trauma counseling once people have found what is hoped to be a safe place to live. Hear these words from participants in Honduras and El Salvador. It's been almost a year and a half since I got the border and um... Thanks to Luterana Mundial, I'm doing really, really good on my business and um, vision for a future is, um, you know, my company grows and not to be, you know, a small business, be a big company. So, um, you guys are helping out um, a lot of people, uh, helping us out with Hungry Church uh, here, which is um, a small church that focuses on uh, deportees, gang members, and anti gang members. Um, our slogan is Hungry Dogs. Others uh, fear to love, and you guys are not. Uh, you guys don't have any fear of loving us, and you guys uh, being here has just been a, a huge blessing to us and a huge uh, encouragement for us. In the U.S., congregations and synods are connecting with local migrant community organizations to provide spiritual support, physical accompaniment, and advocacy. Articulation has meant that with an international Amparo network, including companions in the Americas, as well as uh, congregations and synods in the United States, we are, we are able to accompany migrants, first of all, as they come to the United States in our Lutheran congregations, but also as they may be deported from the United States to Mexico or to Central America through the programs that we support. Awareness building is the third building block of Amparo. Awareness building in Amparo serves two purposes. First, to make sure that all ELC members know about Amparo and understand how to participate. Second, to provide education and resources and news about what is happening in immigration policy currently. Amparo stories, for example, frequently feature in the Gather magazine and Living Lutheran, bringing the stories of migrants into people's churches and homes. Amparo also has a growing social media following through Facebook and blog page. Advocacy is yet another way for Lutherans to live out their faith. Drawing from scripture and ELCA social teaching, Amparo works towards just and humane policies affecting migrants in the U.S. and outside. Advocacy is another way to respond to and uplift the human rights of migrants. In such a time that around 1% of the world's population is displaced, we work to ensure that our laws and policies honor the human dignity and rights of every person. We center the values of mutuality, inclusivity, vulnerability, empowerment, and sustainability into our accompaniment. Through advocacy, we believe we can transform the systems that lead to the marginalization of migrants in our societies. Our advocacy work takes place across all 50 states of the United States and the District of Columbia. 
and includes support uh, of accompaniment at detention centers within our sanctuary churches through the Guardian Angels program, through protest, and of course, through prayer. In 2021, we celebrate five years of Amparo. How has ELC Amparo had an impact on our church and the migrants it serves? First, impacting the rate of migration to the United States has been one really important piece where we are able to provide services in the countries of origin. This has resulted in 88 to 95% of deported and returned migrants in these programs deciding not to embark on the migrant journey again. This also involves healing the trauma of migrants who suffered or witnessed violence. An Amparo network of companions in the Americas and the US right now includes 196 welcoming and sanctuary congregations accompanying migrants in their communities. 11, soon to be 12, guardian angel programs where church people become the physical presence of the church in the courtroom. Hosting and accompanying asylum seekers in congregations is something new that our congregations are doing in 2021. Helping families avoid family separation through sanctuary has been critical in our recent years. Facilitating representation by ELCA members who do pro bono service to migrants in their communities has been an important aspect of helping people who need legal representation. So why is this work so incredibly important? This is the year for critical change. This is the year for transformation and justice for our communities. After many years of setbacks, we can once again work to ensure that the U.S. can become a place of hope where people from around the world can seek freedom, safety, and protection from persecution. The ELCA is called to bear witness to these conditions affecting so many communities worldwide and to work to find solutions that will acknowledge the humanity in all of God's children. Join us in making a difference in the lives of vulnerable people, children, and families. So how can you get involved? Advocacy is essential. We urge you to contact your congressional representatives through Amparo and advocacy networks, and to follow us on social media through our Facebook page and blog post, and of course, to share our work and Facebook page with your friends. Your congregation can join the Amparo network as a welcoming congregation. Your synod can form an immigration or Amparo task force and work together. You can be the physical presence of the church in the courtroom through a guardian angel program. If you're a lawyer, together with local legal service organizations, you can provide legal support to migrants in your community. You can pray for justice and give to support the work. Your incredible generosity has made it possible for our church to work to help to ensure that migrant children and families have the opportunity to live safe and abundant lives. We wanna thank you for demonstrating your strong commitment to justice for the vulnerable.